One of the most familiar actions of dolphins and the related porpoises when they're swimming close to the surface of the water, they regularly arc in and out of the water in an action which is known as porpoising. It isn't just these wonderful mammals that do it. Penguins and seals also use this screen technique. And it does leave us with the question, why do they actually do it? And whilst dolphins may appear to be having fun whilst porpoising, since so many other animals also swim this way, there must be some fairly major practical benefit to swimming like this, rather than just doing it purely for fun. Certainly some whales do make a deliberate splash in the ocean to signal other whales, or even to remove barnacles or other things encrusted onto their skin. But whilst poor voicing, the animals are generally swimming fairly fast, making very little in the way of a disturbance. So the splash isn't the main reason for poor voicing. Now most of the animals that poor voice are either mammals that re-enter the water, having been at an earlier stage in their evolution of being land mammals. Alternatively, they're flightless birds like penguins. These animals can function, at least to some limited degree, out of the water. The animals can then use the time spent out of the water to breathe fairly easily. However, these animals can also function for extended periods under the water. So the frequency that they break the surface of the water is far too often for this to play a substantial part in the exercise. Now, additional help with breathing is likely to be a significant bonus for the activity. Other possible advantages they may gain is a better view of their overall surroundings. Even the clearest water doesn't allow you to see that far when compared to air. And often items suspended in the water means that visibility is considerably reduced. The animals could be using this kind of pop-up technique, having a good look around. However, whilst the air does allow the animals a view of things further away, it doesn't give them that much additional information. Most of the animals that porpoise don't have predators that are going to attack them from the sky. Whilst being able to see if they're approaching, let's say, land or ice, may be occasionally useful, especially for animals like penguins. However, the ability to spot where seabirds are diving into the water, being a good indication of the source of food, may be an advantage. Nevertheless, the porpoising animals do also have to be far more concerned about predators or prey that are in the oceans around them. So again, these visits to the surface are far too regular for this activity to be a major factor in poor voicing, but again, maybe a side benefit from the activity. Instead, what appears to be the case is the animals that poor voice have a powerful rear flipper, or a fin, or even web feet, which propels them through the water with considerable speed. But, like most animals, a little more speed is always a useful bonus. In the case of poor voicing, because air has far less resistance in the water. This, by keeping the fleet just to a few body lengths, porpoising maximises the thrust whilst they're within the water, minimising the air resistance when they're out of the water. As a result, the overall speed actually increases. Now, the main reasons for increasing an animal's speed through the water is generally to catch something to eat or to avoid being caught by some other animal. And here, porpoising has an additional benefit than purely just the speed. Popping in and out of the water makes it more difficult for other animals to track the path or location as they transition between the air and the water. This in turn means that the porpoising animal is less likely to become prey and more likely to catch any prey that they're actually after. Porpoising, however, does need a certain amount of speed to make it work properly. So while swimming a relatively slowly conserving effort most animals won't actually porpoise, but in travelling at high speeds, porpoising can get both increase the overall speed of the animal and actually use less energy than spending all that time in the water.